Welcome back to the very first episode of There Came an Echo. Unite the Clans here, back in your life with the first episode in this series. Episode zero, we did introduce you to the game, we hit the war room, we met some of the characters, but now we get to actually play. Before we do, and I'm going to try to avoid my usual thing, talking to the camera so long that you're going to get bored because nothing is happening on screen. Let's get to work. Command alias. Command alias. I think that's fair enough. Love you. That'll work. Um, actual commands. Take down. Engage. Make it so. Uh, so these are commands that this engine, custom commands, that this voice recognition engine will recognize. That's good. Weapons. Just trying to spell it phonetically. Smart, right? Uh... No, we're good. Uh, just in case Miranda has it. And free commands. Ooh, these are pretty good. Oh yeah, except for this one. Little tribute to uh, Michael Buffer here. And hopefully, we remember to try these out. A little tribute to uh, John McCarthy, if you know who that is. Uh, so. Which, in itself, I'm sure is a tribute to Marvin Gaye. So, we're going to call that done. Back. And now, guys, it is time to enter the world. There came an echo. Let's play. Let's play. 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 Whew. Ready to go. Uh, let's make sure everything is recording. It is, and it is. Cool. All right, so let's get back. <clears throat> Use a headset, high-quality audio. Not going to happen. we got this Blue Yeti for a reason. It's a great quality mic. And don't yell. I kind of yelled a lot in the first one. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? We'll do it now. We'll see if we can do it now. You want to turn off Val? You've never asked me to do anything like this. I'm running out of options, Val. I can't keep them at bay for long. He didn't do anything wrong. This is no longer a matter of ethics. I know. Remove him from the game. I'll take care of it. Ensure that you do. We gods do not play at dice. Epic. So far, epic. Oh, I forgot to start my timer. Five minutes in. That might go off. Jason Wishnov, 
So far, so good, buddy. Good call. This blows Sequence out of the water. Sequence was Arrhythmium Studios' first game, and uh, it was basically a combo of an RPG and a rhythm game, like Dance Dance Revolution, where you cast spells by, you know, whatever, playing notes properly on a guitar or a dance pad. Uh, you know, really unique idea. Uh, this is better already. Right now, uh, if I get this video out in time, this game is on sale in Steam with like a, uh, it's just come out sale. I think it's 10% off and you get sequence. So if you're into rhythm games, sorry, I should shut up. There came an echo. Sick. Anyway, if you're into rhythm games or you like this, uh, and I post this video in time for you guys to take advantage of the sale, get in there, take advantage. Do it. You're a commander. Give commands calmly and confidently. And be sure to enunciate. We'll see. Oh. Can you hear me? Simple start. You should say yes. Or affirmative, maybe. Hi, Val. Speak up, Sam. We can't quite hear you. Hi. Anyone yes. there? Okay, we're online. I'm Val. I'll take care of primary communications with the field. You just provide the tactical support. <clears throat> That's the easy part. You lucked out. When you issue a command directly to a field unit, you say the name of the soldier and then the command. It's pretty simple. Try saying, Val, stop talking. Val, stop talking. Mm, no. But good job, I guess. Anyway, I should probably tell you now. We have to help this guy. His name is Corin. This guy? We need a view of his office. It's to the south. Design's a little tacky. Go ahead and move the camera by moving the mouse to the edge of the screen. You can also zoom in and out with the scroll wheel. Zoom to Corin. Zoom to Corin. Zoom to Corin. Okay, that won't work. We haven't found him yet. South, she said, right? Power in. South. Okay, way to look like a doofus already. There's not that much going on. How for, where could his office be? Oh, right here? He doesn't have a receiver, so we're just gonna have to call him. Hope he picks up. <clears throat> you know, um, we're gonna have to do some on-the-job training. We're out of time. They're here. Let's dial a cell. Call Corin. Hello? Did you know that there are men coming for you? Yeah, you got the wrong number. Ooh, shades huh, of the I Matrix, like eh? Advice. Hello? Corin, you should really listen. It's not a wrong number. Well, I don't want to buy anything, so... Corin Webb, 27 years old, employed at Ignite Defense in Santa Monica, California, developer of Radio Lock. You're in your office at the moment. There's a half-full coffee cup to your right and a pen holder with three pens in it. One of them is missing a cap. Who is this? Someone watching a screen on which four very unfriendly-looking men are heading up to your office. Jesus, what? What do they want with me? Radio Zoom lock. out. It's an open-source algorithm. You can look it up on Wikipedia. Uh, sorry. I need to use complete <clears throat> sentences. They want you to break radio lock. It can't be broken. The problem with all locks, Corin, is that they were made to be opened. There isn't even any hardware that can This is what I do when it. I'm on the phone, too. I, I, I can go with them. This Explain piece. why- I'm not here to talk, Corin. Genetic. And when they're done with you, they'll probably kill you. Not for fun, even though it might be fun. Why should I listen to you? How do I know you're not Kinda lying looks like The Sims a you little bit, Corrin, too. Sims and The 50, Matrix. No, Combined. 47. Uh, you have seconds before they show up at your door. <clears throat> fine! Where do I go? My friend here is going to tell you what to do. Just listen and you'll be fine. Hopefully. Okay, oh, wow. here are the would-be assailants. Right now, you need to get Corrin out of his office to a safe location. There's an Very empty matrix. office down the hall, number 623. To issue a movement command, you need to call Corrin's name, then the command move to, and then the location in question. Go for it. Zoom out. Corin, move to Office 623. Finally. The code to the door is 109324. Corin, 109324.
Well, Morpheus, what now? Stay still, ha. like the statues. They know. Jesus Christ, you're weird. So timing is important here. We have to stay out of sight. For time-critical situations, you can follow a command with on my mark. Then as soon as you say mark, they'll execute the action. When it's clear, oh, get corn to the stairs in the northeast corner. Use the on my mark command along with the move. Corin, move to the northeast stairs on my mark. On my mark? Seriously? I'm a cryptographer, not a marine, you idiot. Mark. Zoom to Corin. Jesus! Stop! Oh, you can say pause game if you need to take a break. Zoom out. Corin, get the hell out of my office! Not now, Darren. Yeah, get Darren. Get off the phone! You think you're over Get bent, you buddy. Some special access pass? Darren, I swear to God, not now. Yeah. Agreed, Darren. Me and Corin are- Darren, stop! Oh, I'm gonna slap you silly. Can I get Marshall or Todd in here? Mr. Webb has repeatedly shown disrespect for both my work environment and my personal affairs, and I think it's time to- What? They're coming. Which way? Uh, south. Corin, go right. Go right. Stop. Gonna need another decision here. Go left. Go left. God damn it, that son of a bitch! Give me something! Go left. Go right. That's not right. Run. Oh, come on, dude. You gotta listen. Coming. Which way? Go left. Go left. Run away. We might cut this part out. <clears throat> Coming. Which way? Go right. Go right. Go straight. Turn around. Pause. Jesus. Resume. Need another decision here. Left. Left. God damn it, that son of a bitch. S Give me something. Straight. Right. Go right. Go left up here. Yeah, we did it! Thankfully, they are unable to pass through doors and into stairwells. Who knew? Using a headset, I get it. I'm not gonna do that. Good mic. Headset. Good job. Bad mic. Yeah, Here's well, a lot of breathing. I'll celebrate when I'm less about to be kidnapped and murdered. Three if tries. If you need corn to it's suddenly stop moving, I suck at video games. Just say hold position. I suppose I should. Speak up, Sam. We okay. Or not. Hold position. Corin, all you need to do is head down to the third level of the parking garage. From there, we can get you to- No. What? Look, no offense, but I have no idea who you are or why you called me. I'm going to the police. <laughs> That's a bad idea, really. I wouldn't Just do that, buddy. Save it, lady. But thanks for the help. Hmm. That's a shame. Okay. Speak up, Sam. We can't quite hear you. Oh. Idiot. Run. I'm calling him back. Corin, staircase down. God damn it! This sh Shut up and listen. There's a black sedan waiting for you on parking level three. Its rear passenger side door is open. Move! I don't think. I don't think I can. Corin, run. You can follow our orders this time, Corin, or you can get yourself killed. Your call. 
Get in the car. Oh, zoom to Corin. Zoom to Corin. Shouldn't even have a mouse. Yeah, I just tried it. It didn't work. Took the red pill. I'm okay. I'm okay. <clears throat> Thank you. So what was all that whining you're, about, bro? You're welcome. I'm shot. I think I need a doctor. You're fine. That wasn't a bullet. That was pulsed energy direction. You were electrocuted pretty badly, but it was a glancing shot. It's actually really cool technology. They accelerate hydrogen ions to- I don't care. I care about where this car is going, who those people were, and who you are. You're gonna tell me all of those things, or I'm going to dive roll out the door and into the nearest LAPD station at the next red light. Also, who's driving this thing? I am, remotely, but I locked all the doors. It's Pardon my lack of Stockholm Syndrome, but if you think you can keep Corin, me- Corrin, shut up. Listen to me. Your algorithm is helping to protect a very dangerous piece of data. Really dangerous. No, it isn't. I told you before, the hardware needed to run Radio Lock doesn't exist. Yes, it does, Corin. <clears throat> if the hardware exists... It does. If... Then can't you... I don't know, blow it up or something? Even if we knew where it was, a system like that would have remote servers in place to mirror the data. We need to find the access terminal, and then you need to break Radio Lock. Okay, stop. There is a mathematical proof showing why radio lock is numerically impossible to break. It cannot be done. They aren't going to stop. And why, may I ask, are you so keen on springing to my aid? I can't say. Knowing any more could put you in danger. No need to pile on, I say. Hmm. <laughs> so you'll help? Think you swear? I'm helping myself. And what's your name, by the way? I'm Val. Nice to meet you. And your partner? That's Sam. Say hi, Sam. Hi. Uh, hi. So what now? We're heading to LAX, then to Seattle. We have a safe house there, and there's someone in the area who might have some information. There's an earpiece in the bag on the passenger seat. It's yours. Happy... birthday. Put it on. No more. No more cell phones. Sorry, guys, I did not do a lot of talking. Done. And is all this military code crap really necessary? I was kind of hooked. I'm sorry, it's up to Sam. Sam, if you want to change commands, you can do that in the settings interface. <sighs> Things just tend to go wrong at airports. All right. Uh, as soon as we come back, guys, uh, I am going to pause this thing. I apologize, I didn't do that much talking, and there actually wasn't that much gameplay. Uh, chapter 1 kind of took care of itself, as far as the story goes, and um, and I'm going to hit escape. That kind of takes care of things as far as episode 1 goes. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Uh, I mentioned earlier, but I am recording these in a big batch. Uh, so stay tuned for more. And I will see you guys in the next episode.